But instead of giving the real hustler the chicken to eat, you let the real, the real hustler eat like chicken and eat with chicken. Who unto you? The Pharisee. Lastly, I would like to talk about this bottom-up economy and up-bottom economy. And I want to tell you, fellow Kenyans, that number one, we need up-bottom economy. Up-bottom economy is also called the trickle-down effect or the leaking basket concept. Meaning that money should come from the government. Money should come from up and go to the people. Let money trickle down. Let money leak down to the people on the ground so that those people, when they have money, they will increase the purchasing power. When they have money, the demand of goods will increase. When demand of goods increases, supply increases. When supply increases, when the increment, when the aggregate supply increases and the aggregate demand increases, we obtain what we call macroeconomic equilibrium. At that point, the economy is built. When the common man on the ground gets money, when the government creates industries, the industries will create jobs. When you have jobs, you will have money. When you have money, the shopkeeper will have more goods to sell. The shopkeeper will run to the industry because the demand is high. Reaching the industry, the industry will demand more production. As the industry is producing more, more people are employed in the industry. When more people are employed in the industry, it is creating jobs to the poor man. The industry will also run to the farm because they will need more raw materials. A farmer will employ more people to work in the farm, in the farm more jobs. That means that with more jobs, there is more money in the pocket. More money in the pocket, more demand. More demand, more supply. More supply, macroeconomic equilibrium is attained. But the bottom up, bottom up, economy that is being preached by the Pharisee, the Pharisee, the fake hustler. This is the meaning. At the bottom, make money. When you make money, take to him up there. When you take to him up there, he will steal that money. Then you will never see your money again. God bless you. Asante Nisan.